videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Lando Norris is the youngest British F1 driver in the history of the sport and someone who has been racing under the McLaren banner for a number of years. More than just driving for the second most successful Formula One racing team of all time, Lando's ties to McLaren run so deep that the young man chose to live much of his early adult life right beside the $300 million McLaren Technology Center located in the district of Woking. When asked why he chose to live so close to where he works day in and day out, Norris has always cited his desire to learn as much as possible about his profession. For instance, he once told Motorsport.com, There was still a lot more to gain from me in my career to being at McLaren and being able to go in whenever I wanted to. Whenever I had a bad weekend, I could just go in on whatever day to be on the simulator to try things, speaking to my engineers, and so on. And I love England. It's still probably my favorite place to be. He's also been quick to point out that this area of the country has a few very enjoyable golf courses that he likes to go to and spend a lot of his off time at. And while Norris has not yet become one of racing's highest paid drivers, as the son of retired pensions manager Adam Norris, one of the richest people in all of the UK, Lando has naturally owned a pretty sweet pad to call home while living in nearby Surrey. He showed it off to Sky Sports during the height of the pandemic back in 2020. For a lot of us, Lando Norris's home would probably come off a little bare bones and underdressed, but for a bachelor living on his own, who's more or less all about his career, this lux space with a white and gray interior includes everything he needs. For instance, no self-respecting driver would be without a memorabilia room where they can showcase the hardware they've picked up throughout their career, and Lando, he's no different. Here, he not only keeps his helmets from past seasons, but the various trophies he's won along the way, including multiple Autosport British Driver of the Year awards. What's more, Lando's home comes complete with a spacious kitchen that boasts white marble countertops, gray cabinets, and a fridge full of protein. Being the athlete he is, his home also includes a home gym as well, even if it probably is the worst version of such a thing you've ever seen a professional use in your life. Inside Norris's gym is a massage table, a sofa, a jumping box, and not a whole lot else. Sounds more like a man cave if you ask me, and a lonely one at that. Thankfully, Norris has got a bit more going on outside in his garden, where he likes to keep all of his weights and take part in the bulk of his exercising when he's breaking a sweat from home. Of course, no F1 driver's home would be complete without their very own sim room, and this space is by far the most complete room in Norris's original English home. Really, it makes sense, especially when you consider how much time he must spend in there refining his reaction time and figuring out what all those buttons do. Lando Norris lived out of this home for the first seven years years of his career. Then in 2021, he decided to pack up shop and move to every F1 driver's favorite place to live, Monaco. After years spent denying that he'd ever do such a thing, Lando Norris eventually decided to ditch his life in England for the glamorous lifestyle that comes along with living in Monaco. The decision wasn't exactly made in an instant though. Shortly before the move, Norris earned himself a significant extension with McLaren, leaving him with more disposable income than ever. Before that, he had always been hesitant to pack up and leave, telling English media like The Sun, I'm happy in Surrey and enjoy my cold English weather and playing golf. It is just about having fun, being with mates, and seeing family when I want, and it is all easy and I enjoy that. I just want to live my life normally. If I moved to Monaco, I would not enjoy it. I don't want to do my job in F1 and not enjoy the things around it. Well, something about signing his name on the dotted line of that contract extension must have changed how Norris felt because right around the same time his new deal was announced, he revealed over on social media that he had found a new place in Monaco. Lando quietly secured an apartment for himself in the Principality of Monaco at the tail end of 2021 and by 2022 he was already all moved in. Now Norris runs the risk of bumping into his F1 rivals living in the area too like like Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton, two of the very best to ever do it. He'll also have to contend with criticisms being flung his way from fans and media who believe 
most drivers move to this area of the world to escape paying significant taxes in their paycheck. When asked if that became a determining factor on his decision to move, Norris told motorsport.com, of course I'll understand and there's gonna be some criticism for sure, but people do many things in life for money. This is just another one. Norris would further suggest that with the relatively short career span of an F1 driver, he has to do everything he can to set himself up for the future. Telling Racing News, that is the deciding factor in all of this. I said before I wouldn't have moved to Monaco, but things changed and with that, my happiness and my enjoyments are above everything. Outside of that one glimpse he offered on social media, suggesting that his new apartment has a nice view, Lando has refrained from showing off more to his fans. The only part of his new home he has revealed online is his sim room, which he unveiled in a YouTube video for his very own gaming company, Quadrant. Now, Lando's all decked out with not only a brand new high-tech setup that'll serve him perfectly for when he's looking to get a little extra training in, but also a top-of-the-line streaming package as well. That's important to point out because despite the move, Norris promises to keep in touch with his fans back in England by streaming on Twitch and not letting the incredible nightlife of Monaco prevent him from continuing to build a relationship with his followers. Outside of that, all we know for sure about his new place is what he's told the press. Namely, that this apartment is much smaller than his home back in Surrey. That being said, the location is reportedly great. As for the one drawback, now that his place is so much smaller, whenever his friends come by for a visit, they end up staying at a nearby hotel. But considering the average level of accommodations in Monaco, I can't imagine they'll feel too bad about that. Now that he's moved on from his formerly rural life in the English countryside to something a little more cosmopolitan, we'll see how this change in lifestyle ultimately affects Norris's racing career. Not that it's gone all that well for him lately, but hey, there's always a few bugs that need to be worked out after every major life change. Here's hoping that Lando Norris can find the right balance now that he's living in paradise over in Monaco. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. Before you race out of here, do me a favor and consider answering the following question. What would be your favorite part about living in Monaco? Let me know what about this one of a kind place would draw you in. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara. If you enjoyed this peek into the F1 racing lifestyle, then why not stay tuned to our look inside the homes of Max Verstappen coming up next. I'll see you all next time. Bye. At the age of just 17 years old, Max Verstappen became the youngest ever athlete to compete as a Formula One driver at the Australian Grand Prix in 2015. In fact, Max competed for about a year in Formula One before he ever obtained his actual run-of-the-mill driver's license. Since then, he's now taken home the Formula One World Championship twice while driving for Red Bull Racing. Throughout his still relatively short career, Max has amassed a small fortune worth roughly $40 million, making him the second best paid driver in the sport behind Lewis Hamilton, according to Forbes magazine. When this young dynamo isn't crisscrossing his way all over the world as fast as he possibly can, you'll find him slowing down just enough to enjoy his life at home, located in Fontvie, Monaco, a gorgeous spot that overlooks a plentiful number of super yachts, Harbored in Cap Dai. The day after he turned 18 years old, Max Verstappen moved out of his parents' place and into an apartment that's the ideal type of bachelor pad millions of males his own age fantasize about owning. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Something that Max himself hinted at when he was asked why he chose Monaco as his home away from home. Home. Telling the Gentleman's Journal, one of the best things about living in Monaco is the quality of life. I think where you choose to live is really important when you're away a lot. Of course, Max Verstappen is far from the only F1 star who's chosen to live in this glittering and pristine city state. Other stars like Lewis Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, and Lando Norris have also put down roots here. Probably because Monaco is well known all around the world for two things its luxurious surroundings, and its ability to function as a tax-free haven for residents. 
Over the years, whenever he's been asked, Max has insisted that he did not select his home because of the implicit tax benefits. And while you might not believe that, one thing that's kinda working in Max's favor is that he doesn't actually own this home. When Max Verstappen moved to Monaco, he didn't put any money down on his apartment that's rumored to be worth as much as $16 million. Instead, he decided to rent it. To me, that suggests that Max doesn't plan on spending the rest of his life living out of Monaco. He's probably just looking to capitalize on the wild social life it has to offer, especially considering how young he still is. And is it any surprise that after a night out on the town, Max is occasionally had to stumble home a little worse for wear? That video also provided us with just about the best glimpse we've ever had of inside Max's place, showing off an apartment that's simple, but but spacious and includes white walls as well as wooden floors. While Max has been hesitant to reveal other parts of his apartment online, a few glimpses of the inside have occasionally slipped through the cracks, such as this look into his chic lounge area. This room boasts a cowhide rug underneath a modern black coffee table and some unique animal artwork hanging on the walls. Once while packing for a business trip, Max also gave us a peek into his stylish bedroom that comes complete with a padded headboard with a geometric detailing and a matching black bed linen. One of the things Max spends the most amount of time at home doing is keeping himself in peak physical condition. He does so with a home gym that takes full advantage of Monaco's typical 300 days a year of sunshine with most of his equipment having been set up on a lengthy stretch of belt Balcony that overlooks the Mediterranean Sea. Known as Max's happy place, this gym boasts necessary equipment like kettlebell weights, an exercise bike, and a frame for bungee poles that ensures an intense cardiovascular endurance, strength, and high intensity workouts. According to Max's performance coach, Bradley Skeins, Max trains six times a week with two sessions a day for seven to eight weeks at a time. And going by some of the workout regimens that he's posted online, I don't doubt that he is always pushing himself to the limits. One of the more unusual workout devices Max owns is a piece of equipment that's specifically built to build up the muscles in his neck so that he can endure a maximum speed of six Gs while taking a tight turn during a race. Paying attention to details like neck extension along with lateral flexion is what helps set Max apart from the other athletes in his sport. And another thing that he takes more seriously than almost anyone else is his virtual training. Whenever Max returns home to Monaco, he loves to hop into his sim racer, which he generally doesn't let anyone else go near. This high-end simulation racing arcade machine set Max back thousands of dollars, especially considering that he had his custom made with a play seat ultimate f1 cockpit worth $2,800, an LM Pro steering wheel that retails for $1,800, a set of ultimate pedals that cost roughly $1,100, and a sim steering system that could cost as much as four grand. When he isn't on the road, Max hops into this simulator every day and races as a member of his sim racing organization, Team Redline. In between racing online and in real life, he'll occasionally ease up on the throttle by taking to the water instead of the land. With that gorgeous Monaco Harbor sitting just outside his home, is it any surprise to learn that Max has been recorded riding a number of jet skis in and around the coast? In point of fact, relaxing on the open water is one of Max's favorite pastimes. And he once told the Gentleman's Journal, Sometimes you just take the boat and park it up somewhere in a little bay, or you take the jet skis out, explore the coast, and have a bit of fun. Doing that in Monaco sounds so enjoyable, it should probably be illegal. Speaking of fun, with as popular a driver as Max has become an F1 over these past few years and the intrigue that comes with living in a spot as wealthy as Monaco, the folks who sponsor Max over at Red Bull decided to capitalize on all that interest by creating an interactive game that allows Max's fans to take a tour of a cartoonish version of his home base. 
Sure, by no means it represents what Max's apartment actually looks like, but for those of you interested in his story, playing through the game will provide you with a bit more backstory on his come up and how he enjoys living in Monaco. All right, before we finish, let's take a look at one last place, Max's home away from home in the sky. This next location might not be somewhere that Max actually lives, but considering how often he has to cross the globe to get from one race to the next, he sure does spend a lot of time in inside of his very own private jet. With 23 Grand Prix races being held across five continents between March and November of 2022 alone, you can imagine that this Dassault Falcon 900EX that Max bought in 2020 has already been a good investment. According to internet reports, this giant jet used to belong to none other than Richard Branson, who sold it to Max for estimated $15 million, boasting Honeywell engines and a maximum distance of almost 9,000 kilometers on one take of gas. The plane can also reach top speeds of up to 892 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, the interior of the cabin includes an all glass flight deck, a wet bar, 12 seats that can be reclined to form beds, and a shower too. Best of all, whenever a teammate like Daniel Rochardo needs a ride back to Monaco, Max is too happy to oblige. And sure, neither his personal jet nor his penthouse suite appears to be all that large, but Max Verstappen is still young and has all the time in the world to sow his wild oats. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching, and before you head out, consider answering the following question. If you were ever to move to Monaco, what would its biggest selling point be? Let me know if you're more about those open waters and the scenery or those tax-free savings in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat. And if you enjoyed watching this tour of F1 driver Max Verstappen's home, then stay tuned as we check out the homes of his rival, Lewis Hamilton. I'll see you all next time. Bye.